Many of us take our financial security seriously. We also know that to build wealth, you have got to start saving money first. Sounds easy enough, right? Unfortunately, bad money habits can impact your bottom line more than you think, even if you're a high-earning professional, like doctors or healthcare specialists. Hi there, this is Harry Nima Segarra with Nima Equity. And today, we'll discuss how to increase your investing potential, part one. Working toward better money habits is one thing, but likely, you aren't even aware of the bad money habits that already exist in your life. Meanwhile, they are lurking in the shadows, tricking you into wasteful spending, rocking up credit card debt, and preventing you from investing. So let's break down the seven most common bad money habits that are costing you money and lowering your investing potential. Number one, your spending exceeds your income. You know the cycle. You spend a little more than you earn. Then to cover ongoing expenses, you may use your credit card to make ends meet. Unfortunately, this quick fix becomes more of a problem than a solution. By relying too much on credit, you face fees and and a high interest rate credit card balance that will seem impossible to pay off. This bad behavior creates a vicious cycle that costs your financial future and decreases your ability to save money. The best way to navigate spending more than you earn is to take an honest look at your spending habits and your long-term financial goals. Compare your annual spending to what's in your bank account. Here are a few ways to reduce spending and start hitting your financial goals. Cut costs on essential items and reduce impulse purchases as the primary ways to stop overspending. Review your subscriptions. Subscriptions to services like Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV, Disney+, Spotify, etc. Be intentional about reviewing and canceling any subscriptions that are unnecessary. Keep credit card debt to a minimum. Late fees and interest charges can cost you a lot of money. Making short-term sacrifices now will positively impact your long-term financial security. Eventually, you'll find yourself practicing good money habits rather than allowing bad habits to cost you money. Number two, you don't have an emergency fund. Most people have a checking account, are aware of their credit score, and should to pay all their bills on time. Many of them even have a savings account too. But did you know you should have a separate account just for emergency savings? Nothing can derail a financial plan quicker than an unexpected expense and no way to cover it. Most financial experts recommend an emergency fund as the first, most important step to stop living paycheck to paycheck. They also say to pack your emergency fund with at least three months of expenses. This way, you will be ready when life throws you a curveball or something goes wrong. Once established, there's no need to regularly contribute to your emergency fund. Just be sure to review it at regular intervals and adjust the balance and your spending habits accordingly. Number three, you save money, but how much money? A rough number is to save 20% of your income. Nevertheless, this might be too much or too little depending on your current financial situation. Before you can decide to save 20%, you might have to make some adjustment to your bad money habits. Start by comparing your income amount against your living expenses and working to widen the gap. When you have an idea of how much money you need each month, it's time to make a budget. You calculate a reasonable savings percentage or value based on your income and essential expenses, then reduce other expenses while increasing income until you reach your goal. Another good money habit is to set up automatic savings deposits so that as soon as your paycheck hits, money is pulled into savings and you never have a chance to spend it. Setting up automation is a great trick to making progress with your finances. Number four, you are overlooking money saving tax breaks. An experienced financial professional or CPA can help you maximize your tax break opportunities and make certain you are using the right financial products for your taxable income. Find a tax expert or CPA who can help increase your deductions and exceptions so that your tax withholdings aren't too high or too low. They should also be able to suggest investment opportunities that will assist in building wealth. Check out tax advantage account options offered by the government, such as IRAs and 401ks. Investing in real estate as an active or passive investor is a great way to create income and become eligible for the tax benefits that real estate offers. You can learn more about this inside the NIMA Equity Doctors Investing Club. It's free to join and quite helpful as you start investing. Part two of this video is coming in a few weeks. Finally, if you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. I'm Harry Nima Segarra with Nima Equity. Thank you for being here with me today. See you next time.